House in the Outer Banks lost to the sea. Officials with Cape Hatteras National Seashore said an oceanfront house in the Rodanthe area collapsed this morning. We're told it was unoccupied at the time, but there is a ton of debris left over from that collapse. And this is just one example of many impacts of floods overnight in the Outer Banks. Angelo Vargas joins us live now from North Carolina. Angelo, where are you? What are you seeing? Yeah, that's right. We made our way to the Oregon LA where we can see and feel these wind gusts around here. You can see that the department, Dare County Department Emergency Management say that the Mark Bands Night Bridge is closed because of that flooding and because of the overwash, leaders with the Dare County Schools say Cape Hatteras Elementary and Secondary Schools are working virtually today. Now, officials with the North Carolina Department of Transportation posted these photos this morning on Facebook. It shows flooding overwash near the Pea Island Visitor Center as well as in the areas in Buxton and North Hatteras Village. Right now, NC-12 is closed between Oregon Inlet and Rathaneet. NCDOT leaders say once conditions improve, crews will work to clear the roads. They hope to report NC-12 to reopen today at home, and Rathaneet also collapsed, as you mentioned, the ocean from the high tide. Now, the Cape Hatteras National Seashore posted these videos and pictures of that house that are in the ocean. Now, NCDOT officials say the next high tide is around 3.30 this afternoon. They hope that people can stay off the roads and be careful around this area. Live at the Oregon Inland, Angela Vargas, 13 News Now. Very gusty out there. Thank you, Angelo. And just to stay with this story, two public schools are now working from home in Dare County because of the flooding. Again, they want you to stay off the road well until 3 o'clock. Cape Hatteras Elementary School and Cape Hatteras Secondary School students can access their assignments online for a remote school day today. All other schools are operating normally.